we will discuss the third chapter complex numbers in the 10 mark problems we will discuss see totally we are having 16 10 mark problems in complex number first we will see the locus model in this model we are having five problems now let me explain one by one see first problem if p represents a variable complex number z then find the locus of p if the imaginary part of 2z plus 1 by ij plus 1 is equal to minus 2. See, in locus problems what we have to do now, replace z as x plus i y in the given equation first. That means what 2z plus 1 by ij plus 1 is given now. So, in that just to substitute z as x plus i y, then you arrange numerator and denominator in the complex number form in that you take uh, the imaginary part then equate to minus 2. So, this is the procedure. So, what is the meaning of locus here means the path traced by this point P. So, it might be a straight line or it might be a circle or it might be a parabola whatever it may be. So, the locus means the path traced by the given point. So, now we will see the solution of this. Okay. Now, let z is equal to x plus i y. Now, we will consider 2 z plus 1 by i z plus 1. What I told? Just in place of z, you substitute a x plus i y. So, arrange like a complex number both in the numerator and the denominator. So, 2 into what is z value? x plus i y plus 1 by i into x plus i y plus 1. So, listen carefully. What I told? This numerator you need to arrange in complex number form and also the denominator. So, you multiply, open the bracket, you multiply with a 2. So, what it becomes? A 2 into x to x plus 2 i y plus 1 by. Now, here i into x, i x, i into i y, i square y. So, we are opening this bracket plus 1. So, both numerator and denominator you multiplied with 2 and also with the i. Now, what is the complex number form, general form of a complex number? x plus i y. That means what? First real part plus i into imaginary part. So, what is the real part here? This 2 x and 1 is the real part. So, 2 x plus 1. So, this is the real part plus what is the imaginary part? Just the i coefficient. So, 2 y into i. So, I arrange numerator in the form of a complex number. Now, similarly, denominator also you arrange in the form of a complex number. So, this is i x. See, i square is minus 1 because complex number property. So, minus 1 into y minus y plus 1. So, if you arrange both numerator and denominator in the form of complex number 2 y i by 1 minus y because this is the real part plus i into x. So, imaginary part. So, we arranged both numerator and denominator in the form of a complex number. Now, what we should do? See, this is now the division of two complex number. That means what? For example, a plus 3 plus 2 y by 4 plus 3 i is there. Then, how can you divide the two complex numbers? You should take the complex conjugate of denominator, then you multiply both numerator and uh, denominator. So, what is the complex conjugate of 4 plus 3i? 4 minus 3i. So, you multiply with the 4 minus 3i. So, like this we are doing. In the same way, here also, you should take the complex conjugate of denominator, then you should uh, multiply both numerator and uh, denominator. So, what is the complex conjugate of the denominator now? 1 minus y minus i x. So, here also what you did? 4 plus 3 i, the imaginary part is changed as 4 minus 3 i. So, if it is z, this is a z bar. So, how can you take 2 x plus 1 plus 2 y i by 1 minus y plus i x. So, I am multiplying both numerator and denominator with complex conjugate. 1 minus y minus i x by 1 minus y minus i x. 
So now what you should do now? You have to arrange the numerator as in the form of a complex number. Denominator no problem because it is of the form a plus ib into a minus ib. So what is the value of a plus ib into a minus ib? a square plus b square. See in general a plus b into a minus b is what? a square minus b square. Because of this i it becomes i square. That means what? a square minus ib the whole square. So a square minus i square b square. What is i square? Minus 1. Minus 3 minus plus. So in the denominator there is no problem at all to simplify because it is of the form a plus ib into a minus ib which is a square plus b square. Now numerator what we should do? You need to multiply this uh, real part and these two parts separately. Listen carefully because this is a very important step. First you take the real part of this one then you multiply real part as well as imaginary part in the numerator. Again you take the imaginary part you multiply real part and the imaginary part. So all together how many terms you are going to get? Uh, four terms you are going to get in the numerator. So listen carefully the multiplication part. Now listen that is equal to 2x plus 1 into 1 minus y. Next uh, minus ix into 2x plus 1. So what I did here? Here I took the real part, then I multiplied these two terms. Similarly, you take the imaginary part, then you multiply these two terms. So what is the imaginary part here? 2yi. So plus 2yi into 1 minus y. Next last one, 2yi into minus ix. So 2yi into minus ix the whole divided by so here what I told a plus ib into a minus ib so which is a square plus b square what is a 1 minus y what is b x square so 1 minus y the whole square plus x the whole square so denominator there is no problem at all 1 minus y the whole square plus x square now we will arrange this one like a complex number now listen carefully 2x plus 1 into 1 minus y. You see the last term here i into minus i minus i square, but i square is equal to minus 1. So minus into minus plus. So listen carefully. See here 2y i into minus i x. i into i i square minus is there minus i square x 2y. But i square is minus 1 no. So minus into minus plus. So, it becomes 2xi. Okay. So, the last term also the real part. See, not only in this sum, every sum, first term, last term is always real part because i square is equal to minus 1. So, if you multiply with minus 1, minus into minus becomes what? Plus. So, it becomes what then? So, 2xy or 2yx that does not matter. Next, now, you look at the imaginary part. What is an imaginary part? The coefficient of i. So, how many terms are there with i? One term, two terms. So, I can take i as common. So, if I take i as common, 2y into 1 minus y. Here, minus x into 2x plus 1. Whole divided by 1 minus y, the whole square plus x square. So, this one I arrange like the complex number. So, now listen carefully. Now, what we need now? The imaginary part of this one. That means this one whatever we found, it should be equal to what is the value? Minus 2. So, how can you find imaginary part from this one is listen carefully. Suppose if it is a 3 plus 2i by 5. Suppose this is a complex number. So, how can you split up like this one? Like I can split like real part 3 by 5 plus 2 by 5 into imaginary part. So, in this what is the imaginary part? This i coefficient 2 by 5. So, instead of 5 what we are having? 1 minus y the whole square plus x square. So, instead of 2 what we are having? This i coefficient. So, 
if we equate this imaginary part, but what they given, use the given condition, imaginary part of 2z plus 1 by ij plus 1 is equal to minus 2. So, this implies, what is imaginary part? 2y into 1 minus y minus x into 2x plus 1 whole divided by 1 minus y the whole square plus x square is equal to minus 2. Then what we should do now? You need to simplify this one. You have to bring like a equation. So, that gives you the locus of the required point. So, how can we simplify? Listen carefully. This implies just you multiply open the bracket 2y into 1 2y. 2y into minus y minus 2y square because plus into minus minus. Minus x into 2x minus 2x square. Minus x into 1 minus x. So, now this one is equal to minus 2. It is in division form, right? So, when it goes that side, it becomes what? Multiplication form. So, 1 minus y the whole square plus x square. So, the next step what we should do? Open the bracket here also. Then you rearrange the equation. This implies 2y minus 2y square minus 2x square minus x is equal to minus 2 into expand this one by using a minus b whole square formula. So, what is a minus b whole square formula? a square 1 square. So, 1 plus b square y square. So, y square minus 2ab 2 into 1 into y. So, minus 2y plus x square. Now, you open the bracket now. 2y minus 2y square minus 2x square minus x is equal to minus 2 minus 2y square plus 4y minus 2x square. So, if you multiply it is minus 2. So, just to cancel the like terms, what is the meaning of like terms? The terms which are same on the both the sides. So, what are those terms? Minus 2y square minus 2y square gets cancelled because minus if it comes this side it becomes plus. No, minus 2x square minus 2x square gets cancelled. So, what are the things we left here? This implies minus x plus 2y because 2y minus x is left this side. So, you bring these two also this side plus 2 minus 4y is equal to 0. So, this implies x minus minus x 2y minus 4y minus 2y plus 2 is equal to 0. But if it is minus sign in the first, uh, you cannot uh, write like that. You have to multiply throughout the equation by minus sign. Because the general form of the straight line is what? Ax plus by plus c. So, you need to bring in that form. So, multiply the negative sign. It becomes what? x plus 2y minus 2 is equal to 0. So, the locus of P is, locus of P is, this is the conclusion, x plus 2y minus 2 equal to 0, which is nothing but straight line equation, straight line. Even if you write locus of P also, they will give the mark. Do you understand? So, this is a procedure. So, just uh, one more minute, uh, I will remind what we did uh, here. Okay. First, uh, you take z as x plus i y, you substitute in the given equation. Then you arrange a numerator and denominator in the form of a complex number. So, how you do two complex numbers takes the complex conjugate. Then you multiply both numerator and denominator. Then what we did? You arrange the numerator in the form of a complex number. So, how can you arrange? First, you take the real part, then you multiply other two terms. Next, you take the imaginary part, then you multiply other two terms. So, this step is very, very, very important step very crucial step. So, divided by the denominator part, uh, there is no problem at all because it is of the form a plus i b into a minus i b. So, a square plus b square. So, if you multiply, you will get uh, in the form of a complex number. In that, take the imaginary part because it is given. Suppose, real part is given means what? You have to equate the real part here, but here imaginary part is given. That is why I am equating the imaginary part because next uh, uh, problem, you are going to get the real part. So, same model only. Altogether, 5 problems we are having. This is the first sum. 4 more uh, problems are there. Then you cross multiply, you arrange like an equation, that is your answer.